What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another ultimate training guide. Today we are taking a look at Inzaghi. One of my favourite strikers to use in the game actually. Play style is a goal poacher. He goes to a 94 overall but for the versions that we're going to be boosting up here and training up we've got two different builds of him that go to a 92 and another version of him that goes to 93 right. So straight off the rip you can see that Inzaghi has got really good offensive awareness and finishing and he also has everything kind of in the 70s right that acceleration a lot of people sleep on Inzaghi right and they do sleep on him because there was a free version of him released I have done a training guide on him as well this one is slightly different but still kind of similar right you've still got the player skills that you're looking at there heading long range curler chip shot control long ball shoot long range shooting and then the key the key ones for this card acrobatic finishing first time shot and one touch pass and the game changing one for him is super sub right so when we're reviewing Inzaghi and we're looking at Inzaghi and his impact I would definitely not recommend to you you to base your team around Inzaghi and start him as your main striker right his main goal coming on should be as a super sub and to score goals from the bench that's kind of your main role he's like a specialist man that's what he is he's like uh, in the NFL when you bring on the kickers that's what he is he's special teams right I would not start in Zaggy and this is coming from somebody that has played a lot with in Zaggy on my other account on my Xbox and he just bangs in goals from the 60 minute mark on he is small compared to other center forwards, but aerially he's absolutely class because of that acrobatic finishing and the heading play styles. Plus you can get jump up quite high, right? So when we're training him, you're going to have a bit of a difference um, of a difference of opinion on him and how you're going to train him, right? With two different builds. They're kind of similar, but they do stray away from each other a little bit, right? So the first build that we have over on eFootballDB here is we're just going to maximize his finishing. So we want offensive awareness, we want acceleration, we want shooting, and we also want his aerial ability to be just like the complete kind of Harry Kane, Benzema type player. We don't really need max strength, um, which is speed, acceleration, and kicking power. We're just going to focus on him being a goal poacher, right? Offensive awareness with, with goal poaching is kind of a difficult one because goal poachers are going to naturally not come deep for the ball. They're not going to come like a deep line, line forward and they're not going to come like and make darting runs in off the shoulder of your defenders, right? Now I'm talking as ever when the connection is good and everything is going fine and everything is working for you. Obviously in your AI is behaving as it should be and it's not being bold, right? So when you have a, a player like Inzaghi as a goal poacher, you do need to finish the ball when you get the chances in the middle of the pitch. Like when you get the ball in the six yard box, you get it in the actual penalty box, you need to be able to be comfortable enough to finish, right? And he has first time shot and long range shooting. You also don't need to upgrade his low pass with this because of one touch pass. So it's literally get the ball, little intricate pass, get the ball back from a one touch play and then bang the ball into the back of the net, right? You're not going to be dribbling. You're not going to be using this guy as Mbappe or Son or Salah or somebody that's able to actually put the ball on the ground like Romario and run at defenders, right? And do tricks and be very mobile, right? This is not the build for that. You're not going to get that in Inzaghi, right? The second build that we have of him is a 92 overall and we're going to boost up his offensive awareness even more, have 88 acceleration, 81 balance and 88 finishing so it's going to be a very very even player but the differences between this card and the last card is as you can see here the massive change in his tight possession this card will be a bit more of an overall uh player right he'll be a bit more of a complete center forward okay so if you find a transition from having played 100 matches with romario and you're just like, oh man, you know, Romario or Mbappe or somebody that's able to run at defenses and you have that really nice tight possession, ball control, dribbling kind of stat line. It is going to be a bit of a bit of a big shock to use somebody like Inzaghi, especially if you bring him on and you're using Romario and Eto up front or you're using Mbappe and, um, you know, even somebody like Tony up front, right? They're, they're very mobile uh, or Isaac or any of those players, right? You're going to find a big jump from when you bring, bring a player on in the subs in the 60 minute mark so this is kind of a halfway between that that you still are able to kind of attack your opponent at all ends right i think Inzaghi's a beast let's don't let the stats um disappoint you he is a monster his super sub he's one of the best super subs in the game his player id is insane as well and i guarantee you in the comments you will have people saying that yeah i've used Inzaghi. he's a monster he's a demon and i do like him lads i genuinely think he is very very well recommended i know it's a bit controversial to recommend him because he's not as good as Mbappe or somebody like that but i think he is a monster and i'm going to stick to that he's got me so many important goals so that is it for me lads we'll be back quite soon with another uh, ultimate training guide hope you enjoyed this one peace